My name is Sahil Dekshmi. I'm a PhD doctor in the field of marketing. Welcome to the series of video sessions on the topic of basic research in social sciences using quantitative methods. In this particular video, I will be presenting the introduction to topic. Secondly, we need to address this topic. And finally, prerequisites for the further topics. So let's start. So this is a topic, basic research in social sciences using quantitative methods. So the contents were introduction to report, need to address this topic and uh, prerequisites for further knowledge. So there can be many of the definitions uh, regarding the research. But uh, one of this, I found it pretty much interesting saying that the research is the systematic process of collecting and analyzing information in order to increase our understanding of the phenomenon with which we are concerned or interested. So few of the things that are pretty much important to discuss that research is first of all process of collecting and analyzing information. So whenever we collect information and then we put this into the analyzing procedure, one thing we need to know that where should we stand at the time of analyzing the information. So if you are just discussing something about the negative aspects, you will be more titled as a critic rather than an analyzer. On the other hand, if you are only discussing the positive aspects, so you can be the supporter rather than an analyzer. Just suppose there is a referee in the football match. So do you think that at the time of making decision, this referee will think for a moment that the decision I am making against a team that is very weak and I have to support a bit in terms of analyzing about this particular decision. So it doesn't make any sense. That person or a referee is on the stand where he have to make a decision on neutral basis, not favoring a team which can be weak or a team which can be strong. Generally, there are two categories of the research one is the research on sciences and the other is the research on social sciences the kind of research that is usually done on the sciences contains several scientific methods theories and or concept the difference in the social sciences research is that the interest of those things or the aspects is towards how to enhance the welfare of the society. Just giving you an example that somebody who developed a medicine for HIV AIDS, this is usually related to the concept of sciences. However, how this medicine can be used for the welfare of the society that is usually defined under the research of social sciences. This social research can be of two forms. Number one, basic or pure research that aims to develop a body of general knowledge for the understanding of human social behavior. Such research is done by the academics and their results are usually published in journals, books and something else. Applied research on the other hand is done by the social researchers to provide knowledge and information that can be used to influence social policy. Such research is used in decision making 
For example, in a country where there is an energy crisis, a research to enhance the sources of energy in that particular country will be an example of basic or pure research. On the other hand, the applied or policy oriented research can be to improve the energy efficiency of homes, offices or modes of transportation within that particular country. The nature of social research can be qualitative or quantitative. The quantitative and qualitative might differ in several aspects. For example, the quantitative aspects contains explanation and prediction, testing, confirmation and validation of a theory. On the other hand, the qualitative aspects include description, explanation, exploration, interpretation and to build a theory. The quantitative aspects can be deductive while the qualitative aspects use an analysis that is inductive. Furthermore, numerical data, statistics, formal or scientific methods are usually taken in the quantitative study as compared the qualitative study contains narrative descriptions, words, quotes, personal voice and literary style of the researcher. To sum up this session, we will be conducting a research, in fact getting the knowledge about how to conduct the research that is basic in the field of social sciences using the quantitative method. So why we are doing to become a good academic researcher as well as to publish the research work. So just read this statement again. This is the title of the discussion. Basic research in social sciences using quantitative methods. So why we need to address this topic? Well, there are several reasons behind. Number one, you can become a member of a research group by having information of this session. This can be done by exploring the research environment around you, the researchers around you who are continuously engaged in some sort of a research work and you can understand their fundament fundamentals and you can work with them as a team member. So this will make you a constant knowledge achiever and a good transferer of an information and finally a good all-rounder. So nowadays for example you are related to any academic institution just think of a scenario that only being a teacher will not make you as much as intelligent to be up to mark as per the updated market needs. So this will give you something extra, something extra knowledge related to research and this research can enhance your career in certain ways. So finally, the required plan of action. So this series of workshop will be having several modules. 
Number one, knowing something about the basic research fundamentals. Secondly, knowing something about the research softwares such as SPSS, AMOS, Stata, and etc. Thirdly, knowing something about the general terms such as research conference, publication, research journals, indexing, Thomson Reuters, and finally, how to write a research paper at Thomson Reuters level. To end this first session, I will advise you to subscribe this channel and follow all the videos in the playlist. If you are currently doing any research or writing a thesis, please follow step by step guidelines provided in these videos. Hope you will get a good supervision of your quality research. See you in the next video.